let's talk about some other distressing news courtesy of ra regarding mixes db mixes db was probably another one of those big sites back in the day similar to like white earbuds and maybe like you know old school ra that i was obsessed with when i was first getting into electronic music i was obsessed with mixes at db i used to check that place all the time which is essentially was a database where they would feed all the latest mixes into i don't know how it exactly worked i'm not gonna lie i don't know if people uploaded them directly on there if mixes db pulled them from certain places but all i remember is that when i was in my minimal phase and i was listening to fucking ricardo villalobos mixes and i can't think of who else maybe it's early seth troxler and all these guys back in the day i would find all those mixes um via mixes db it was literally that the, the archive i'd go and check those out but over the years i have to be honest as well i don't really listen to mixes like that i listen to my own while i record them because i want to make clips and stuff um or i might like watch a i watch live stream dj mixes this is different this is one but yeah this is the thing i'm gonna say i want to just played into it so i don't listen to mixes online rarely but i will listen and play dj mixes on youtube so i'm not listening to them on soundcloud but i listen to them on youtube so if somebody is doing a live stream or they've uploaded just a dj mix like the book club whore mix mag um you know um what you call it dj mag ra's got one boiler room has one all these people have places where you can go and listen to music i would obviously check it out but I'm not really listening to the audio side of things on like a mix cloud or like a sound cloud for the most part. There are exceptions, but for the most part, I don't really do that. So I wonder if that kind of played into it or if it's just like a money thing in terms of hosting the site, the servers. It's just too much. They're just like, you know what? I'd rather just like leave it. So let's check what Mixes DB said here, courtesy of RA. Mixes DB to shut down permanently on June 29th. So it's just around the corner god almighty um this is a popular mixes database mixes db will close for good saturday june 29th according to a post on the website the code is completely outdated and cannot be run on model servers anymore and since ads went to zero um, months ago and donation models failed years ago i decided it's better to shut it down now than later launched in december 2006 mixes db is a user-generated database cataloging dj mixes radio shows charts and podcasts often with detailed trackers yeah by the way that's the other segment of it as well so mixes db the way it works is that obviously it had all the mixes on their radio shows but it also had a breakdown of all the of all the tracks played and i think people kind of it, it was almost like a wikipedia so you could basically add submissions in terms of what the tracks were and for someone like myself that was digging profusely when i was super passionate or oh, i'm still i'm super passionate but I, when i was really in the digging thing like i would like that was a weird thing back in the day like, i don't do as much now because i just dig as personally but back in the day i'd be listening to mixes to find new songs to play in my sets so i would listen to like everybody and be pulling as many mixes as tunes possible especially if they played out because usually people when they play out usually play their best stuff i find that when people are recording mixes at home you don't usually play your best stuff um usually anyway you want to save it for when people actually see you in real life so i was really scouring the net and trying to find them and when i found mixes db i was like oh my god this is my lifesaver because i found it all on one place all on one portal and then of course as we're digging you'll find a track on mixes db courtesy of the track list then you go on juno then you go on discogs or wherever to find the fucking tune and then finding that tune then leads you to find other tunes so it's always just like a non-stop chase you ne you're never satisfied there's always more and more and more you want um so it continues here it says these include decade-long sets from legendary clubs like paradise garage amnesia ibiza omen in frankfurt um uh, all these places i think are closed it's with a of omen actually um once the site shuts down the entire database won't be accessible anymore hopefully somebody pulls it and archives it i know many of us put in weeks of fn database but this is where we stand download or copy everything you need before june 29th jesus man super super tragic and again like i said i wonder if this is like a a reflection of people's listening habits because like i'm not really the typical raver because you know i'm involved i dj i put on my own events i talk about stuff like here online and stuff and i'm a little bit you know maybe on the older side when it comes to people that go out and stuff but i wonder if the younger generation are doing that also do the young generation listen to mixes like i've never in my entire life by the way listened to a single nts show like i don't even know who plays when they play i don't listen to it i've not listened to a single one i have friends who play there who put their mixes online and stuff i might double tap and like like it but i've never listened to a single set or show from them um so i wonder if i'm if i'm if i'm the, the only one that does that or people do listen to actual radio online radio shows or do they just tune into the mix that gets uploaded on youtube 
you know because that's what i do because that's what i do with my own stuff um i've actually just relaunched actually my own channel and i've done it under the proviso of uh, persistence radio actually so nowadays going forward what i'm going to do with all my dj mixes is i'm gonna have them on my own channel which is persistence radio which is kind of like my faux record label type of thing but i'm gonna host all my live mixes on here so what i'll do most likely i've still got a couple of text mis test mixes to kind of go through on my main channel on my obviously taz channel that you're watching on this lovely podcast from or that you kind of probably know me from from all the things i do but then i'll slowly transition to having all my mixes based underneath this label or underneath this banner or this brand of persistence radio and that'll be where i'll put all my mixes now of course what i'm planning to do is also is to upload clips of me playing as well just to kind of spruce up you know the page and make it a bit you know interesting because i think that's something that's lacking as well nowadays people put four mixes up like you know 10 minute you know one hour plus mixes but no one really puts up clips of like blends and stuff people put clips up of blends on social media but not on fucking youtube so i'm going to be doing that as well going forward so if you haven't already checked out my stuff please do um it's at youtube.com forward slash at persistence radio but you can just find out my channel if you go on my channel and click on my channel you'll see it linked as one of the link channels on there but i also put the link in the description for those of you who want to check it out but i do wonder i do wonder if the fact that mixes db is shutting down does that have to do with people's listening habits are people now not listening to audio mixes as much as they used to in the past like what are they doing because i don't know if when i'm pre-gaming when i want to go out i'm a bit weird like sometimes i won't listen to like an electronic music based mix or tune i'd want to go the opposite so if i'm going out somewhere i might play some r&b or just nothing at all you know if that makes any sense so if i'm going to a techno party i want to play some country just something completely opposite to what i'm going to expect to hear there um but i know some people when they're pre-game maybe you want to put on a playlist instead maybe you want to put on the you know maybe an album but you don't actually want to put on an actual dj mix or if you do put on a dj mix you want to watch the person too via youtube so i wonder if that's actually a thing maybe that's actually a thing going forward i'm not really too sure but either way r.i.p mixes db an absolutely legendary platform sad to see it go but of course as the main person said get all your stuff you need from them before june 29th before june 29th